As a president, as a father, and as an American, I'm here to say we need to act. And that's why today I'm announcing a new National Climate Action Plan, and I'm here to enlist your generation's help in keeping the United States of America a leader, a global leader, in the fight against climate change. In June of 2013, New Scale Power represented itself at the Western Governors Association Conference in Park City, Utah, to make a major announcement of what was called the Western Initiative for Nuclear. We and the President are going to be looking uh, very much to the states in general, to the Western states, and to the WGA for uh, thought leadership, for innovation. We have tremendous opportunities now also in nuclear. We have put out funding opportunity announcements for small modular reactors. These have economic advantages, environmental advantages, and national security advantages that could apply not only in the United States, but globally. And this is where the United States can capture the technological lead back. If you consider the amount of large coal plants that are being retired in the United States, that baseload generation has to be replaced by something, and it will be very difficult for it to be replaced by anything that generates greenhouse gases. Uh, nuclear power has been mentioned, uh, Dan, and uh, whether it be small modular reactors, which are the hope of the future, you know, uh, who knows what the future is going to be. The wind project contemplates a full new scale 12 module installation phased in over time to meet the electricity generation requirements and the demand of the region. The participants in WIND include members of the teaming agreement of Energy Northwest and Utah Associated Municipal Power Systems. Both of these utility organizations have evaluated their future baseload energy needs. Coal, as a lot of people know, is under extreme pressure, both from uh, the Clean Air Act and potential carbon regulation, as we could see a complete shutdown of the coal fleet in the western United States, if not the entire United States, by 2025. Obviously, with all the pressure on coal, specifically carbon in general, we've been looking at different alternatives, along with efficiency and renewables, that would be a carbon-free production source, and nuclear reactors were the first thing that we started to look at. We looked at the larger reactors, but as the obvious advantages to safety came out about modular reactors, uh, we started getting very interested. But we've gone the rounds with most of the vendors, and New Scale uh, seems to be the sa safest reactor design that we've seen so far. Globally, the sensitivity to implementing uh, nuclear facilities in a post-Fukushima world is going to really bring out the strengths of the new scale design. As we look at the design today as it's continued to mature, it has proven out the selection that we made in 2010, which was to select new scale as the small modular reactor uh, technology of choice. The opportunity to create a thermal-based generation facility like new scale and couple it with the renewables to, to have a good effective marriage of all the resources uh, to bring to bear. We think that that sort of a situation can have uh, profound effects, both uh, domestically and internationally. The Western Initiative for Nuclear is a very important development for the future of new scale power. This is not a single project. We are talking about a series of projects to support a region of the country. This technology has the ability to be competitive with all the other sources of electric generation that we know of today. So that's, the, that's part of the promise that we're hoping to see fulfilled. The West is taking a leadership position in the development of small modular reactors. The lessons learned that will come from the construction and the operations of this plant will be a bellwether for future developments of other projects in other western states as well as the rest of the world. It's a, a shared vision of what can be done to bring new technology to resolve some significant domestic and international issues and we're proud to be part of that. Having spent my entire career in the energy sector, the Western Initiative for Nuclear offers tremendous opportunities for new scale power, not only working in an exclusive arrangement with five states, but it's gonna allow us to broaden out beyond these five states and eventually into a global marketplace.